What's up dudes, Hold Fast here, and welcome back to another YouTube Pro Tip. And basically today we're going to be showing you how to run different versions of Minecraft. Uh, you can start by downloading the latest version, or whatever version you want to run, and uh, just have it somewhere on your computer. But first we need to access the Minecraft folder, and you can do that by opening up your um, uh, Windows Explorer. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name. Oops. Your uh, Windows Explorer, and simply type in percent sign app data so percent sign is shift 5 on i guess north america keyboards i think it's the same pretty much everywhere uh, percent sign a p p d a t a percent sign press enter the first folder you should see is dot minecraft uh, double click on that and this is the folder where all of your minecraft information is stored and before i continue just want to let you know that any changes that happen that either break your game or do something bad uh, it's not my fault so too bad Always do backups if you save. This is your save folder under the save. Always do backups just in case. Uh, so if we go to the bin folder, that's the one we're looking for, B-I-N. You'll see in here, this folder won't be in here, but this will be here. And it's basically just this folder, or this file, minecraft.jar, is the main file that runs Minecraft. And that's the one we're going to be working with. So always, always, always make a copy of this before you do anything. So where I... You, you should take your downloaded version of Minecraft or whatever the snapshot is or anything like that and, and bring it into a snapshots folder in inside of here and under here you'll see all of my latest uh, file files that I have the latest snapshot right here 12w40b and all I'm gonna do is copy that one so just go to copy I'll go back and I'll paste it in here and you just take this uh, minecraft.jar and I'm going to rename it oops, rename it to VIN for vanilla and I take this one, my the one that I'd like to run and rename that to minecraft.jar or just minecraft and now if I run minecraft log in you will notice that I will be running on 12w40b right there simple as that, that's, that's, that's the easiest way to do it X out on minecraft switch back all you have to do since you just copied the folder or this file from in here it's still there so just delete the minecraft.jar here yep and now take your vanilla minecraft file erase that and you have minecraft.jar and when you run minecraft again it'll be back to 1.3.2 as you can see right there perfect um, another way that I find much easier but before sorry before we continue just make sure you always keep this file keep your snapshots separate make sure you you copy them and paste them don't delete originals or anything like that because you want to make sure that you have everything on hand um, if you do lose minecraft.jar like I'll show you I don't want to do it right now <laughs> but you can uh, just run the update when the minecraft client starts and it'll it'll download these files again so it's no problem if you lose this file just don't lose your saves and stuff like that. Um, next way that I'm going to show you guys how to do it is much, I don't know about much longer, but a little simpler when you're using mods and things like that. Um, first thing you would do is, is download the um, application Magic Launcher. And I'll leave the link down below for the Magic Launcher. Um, it's on the Minecraft forms. Very simple little application. Basically, uh, utilizes everything that the Minecraft launcher has but just adds a little bit extra so you see in here I have default snapshot and 1.3.1 setup under my configuration um, what you can do is go to setup and these are the, the mods that I use and under let's click on snapshot you'll see it automatically selects minecraft.jar if you'd like to it's in the wrong location although so I won't work if I go to select actually I'll show you guys if you if you want to set up a new one, we'll set up, let's go 12w40b, copy from snapshot, so it's okay. So this one, this configuration is called 12w40b, so if I want to run the latest snapshot, I have to find it first. So we click select, this is my downloads folder, so it's not in there, um, but usually it's under app data, which I believe, oops, I believe it should show, which it's not. Interesting. Hmm. Not sure why it's not showing it. Let me see. All right. Well, it's not showing it. 
But um, for some reason, I can't find that. What you need to do is download the latest, store it in a separate file, which is not under that app data folder. Store it somewhere else on your computer, on your desktop, or my, my documents are somewhere. So I, I have it in my downloads folder. So if I select this one here and click open, it'll now run from that one. And you can then select whatever mods you want to use. Unfortunately, none of those will work with 1.3 or with 12W40B. You can also select other mods, uh, other things you don't need to use right there. Click OK. And also click under Options. It'll show you where it's getting the uh, information from. You don't need to touch anything in there. We'll click Login under 12W40B. And you'll notice now it's running under 12W40B. Very simple. Um, it's just another way of kind of bringing all your mods and snapshots and things into, oops, that's the wrong one, into one location. Um, it won't make your your stock Minecraft run. So usually what I have is I have my, my this Minecraft client running the stock Minecraft, which is under that app data folder. And then I have this one, whatever I like it. So default, we'll go with default right now. And that's automatically selected to uh, 1.3.2 so I can play on the on uh, GetCraft and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them below and I'll ask or and I'll answer them. Or you guys can tweet at me at holdfastgames and I'll more I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. But basically just remember open up um, Windows Explorer and this should work in XP and Vista and 7 whatever you got. Click percent sign app data percent sign click on minecraft and under here bin and this is where all your stuff is stored you can create the folder snapshots and in there you can store everything and just replace so this magic launcher will not affect anything that's stored in here very simple very easy guys hope you enjoyed